What is up, Brassonians? Welcome to another exciting dungeon crawling adventure, where this time, uh, Christian's gonna try to kill us. What's up, everybody? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. That was that was Gronk. That was Gronk. Are we going Hello. Are we going to harmony? Gronk, now? Gronk that's missing. <laughs> okay, we need to work that. <laughs> yeah, we need some practice with that. Um, Christian, thank you so much for guest uh, DMing for us here. That's that's gonna be fun if we don't again. die. Yeah, again. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, you guys survived last time, barely. Yeah, yes, thanks to skin. thanks to Lyra. Yeah, by well, the skin mostly, of our teeth. Yeah, mostly survived. Mostly. Yeah. <laughs> hey, my you kitty know, cat's survived this time. Uh, you know, with uh, Tim not here. And other Tim being here, maybe you've got a chance of surviving. Yeah, maybe it'll <laughs> just go really, really, really well. Um, so for the record, uh, just so everyone understands, there are uh, four of us here, and there are only three of us here that are players. But as you can see, there is, in fact, a fourth token there. Um, I'm going to have you take control of Stoth. Uh, smaller Tim's character, Katie. Okay. I'll try my best. Need, if you need any like, oh, yeah, yeah. things about clerics, just ask. Cleric is my speciality. Um, I can't see any of his stuff. All I can see is his um, token oh. picture. My B, I will change that. You should be able to add it to him, but apparently not. Can I try something here for a second, please? What's up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Christian, I tried to do the health bar thingy, but clearly I did it wrong. The what thing? The health bar thing. Like, I put in the number, but I think I didn't, like, set the parameters or something. Um. No, I think that's me. I think I oh. must have not saved it correctly. So um, okay, that okay, it works. Okay. <laughs> Don't know why it's like that, but it's okay. I will change it as needed. Okay, cool. Because there are a few things that are very off. I had a few issues actually when I was creating this, um, because I found out that a lot of things uh, for a lot of the tokens went very, very, very wrong. Uh -oh. uh, specifically with the uh, thing that you guys are hunting tonight. Um, but I did fix it. And uh, also, Katie, your your token has been um, adjusted. Oh, okay. So you should be able... It, it should be, as you like pull it out, it'll be correct. I'm going to go through okay. everybody. Just make sure they are all good. Yeah, we are looking solid. All right. So tonight joining us, we have uh, Tim the Greater. What's up, Tim? Howdy, howdy, howdy. Yeah. And then we've got um, also Oz, who rolled a new tune for the evening, I believe. Uh, about that. Yeah? No. No? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oz is playing a druid tonight. And then um, I will be playing my ranger and attempting to play Tim's character, or maybe he'll just show up. That would be cool. All right. Show um, up, Tim, please. Yeah. <laughs> Cause That's now. I know some of this, but, well, some of this looks familiar. So, all right. Coolio, uh, Christian, did you want to set the scene? I shall set the scene. You guys are Curtain rises on time in a tavern, having a few drinks, and you hear the rumblings of rumors about a strange teleportation circle miles away from town, out in the middle of nowhere. You decide, you know, it might be fun to go and check this out. And as you begin to say that, the bartender comes out, he's like, I don't know, that's such a good idea. Everyone who's gone in there 
They've disappeared for good. And you learn from other rumors. The teleportation circle is said to have riches beyond it, beyond your wildest dream. Magical items, gold, rubies, <laughs> sapphires. But those are just the rumors, as no one has ever returned from it. Nonetheless, you decide that the risk is worth the reward. So you find the cave where it's hidden. You step on the platform, and over a whisk of blue light, you are transported to an island. A floating island, as you can see. I note yeah, the clouds. Figured that. You are miles in the air. The winds pushing against you. It's hard to keep your footing. And as you look back at the teleportation circle, the runes have gone dim. And you can't return. That's probably... At this time. Yours. It's probably not great. Now, as you look around... You see three large twisting towers in front of you. One right here on the floor that you can see. It is going up about seven stories. On a platform above, you can see that there's a staircase here that leads up to this one. Uh, I don't think I'm shift pinging. On the staircase no. above there, you see that there is a second tower that rises up about the same height. And far to the north, there's a third tower, even higher, that also leads up to the same point. As you look between the towers, they are all connected with various tunnels going between them. Walkways, skyways. The stage is now yours. Anybody afraid of heights? God, not me. Don't, don't look down. I feel like I am, which is weird because I can turn into birds. <laughs> <laughs> that is that, weird. Yeah. That, that is. <laughs> anyway, so I, I am not here for anything. Like as a druid, I do not care about materialistic items. I'm just here because that guy at the bar told me not to. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like you. Any. Checks out. Okay. Well, um, I guess we better start looking around because... Yeah, Torah Tower A, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean... I'm playing my rangers, so... That means I gotta check for traps every two minutes. <laughs> Alright. So, are you all just going together? Yeah, I prefer it that way. <laughs> Alright. You may all move into the first tower. As you see that there is a grand and... foyer that has a large staircase that leads up one floor. Okay. Um, we do. Can I do like Spots a of light. perception check? Kind of see what I can see around the room. Are you doing specifically sight? Um, yes. All right, yeah. Roll me that perception check. All right, with a twelve, um, you don't really see a whole lot, um, but um. Stoth is a dwarf, correct? Yeah, Stoth is a dwarf. Yeah. Uh, I would like Stoth to roll me a... Um, I believe it would be a history check at advance because he's, uh, he's good with stonework. Is he a dwarf? Oh, I'm there. I feel like yes. Is he a dwarf? 
Man. I thought he was a dwarf. I'll double check. Nobody here knows his character, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, it says he's a dwarf. Yeah, yeah, it says it. Okay, yeah. Uh, so what Stoth can understand is just that, yeah, these are some rocks. I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> you guys don't notice a whole lot. <laughs> Stoth is like, yeah, them some rocks. I think we should go up them, them, there. Them be rocks. So you said that this is like a grand foyer that we're in? Yes. Okay, like, can I call <laughs> out and see if, like, can I, like, listen very intently to see if I, like, hear anybody reacting to my voice? Are you sh actually shouting up the stairs? Sure. Oh, this All seems right. like a terrible idea. This seems like a great idea. I tell you, yeah, I mean, hello, anybody home, 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 home? This is how we die. Yep. <laughs> is that um, does, does, uh, does your Mornay, Puru Guru, does he get a perception check? Give me one second to just uh, pull up what I need to pull up. Sorry. If, Our death chart. Um, <laughs> I was just going to bring the, uh, the the three main things I'm going to need uh, up to the uh, top here. Jeez, Batman. But, um... <laughs> Batman just wants some love and wants to be noticed by the stream. He's so noisy. <laughs> Alright. So as you shout out you start to hear a little, hey, man. and uh, you hear the whizzing of arrows as two arrows come at you. Hey, those aren't supposed to. Which I believe a 20 will hit you. You know what, Christian? A 20 might. <laughs> and one of the arrows crashes down underneath your feet, but the other one goes right into your shoulder as it pierces through whatever hide you are wearing. And you can see that there are goblins upstairs. Goblins? Oh, God, not again. <laughs> Who invited the goblins? Damn it, that's my spellcasting shoulder. It's always <laughs> goblins. You said initiative, Christian? Initiative. What's initiative? How do you write an initiative? Um, so open your character sheet and you can um, yep. put your mouse over where it says initiative, but make sure you click your token first because then it'll put it in a nice, neat order for Christian. Click my token? Yep, on the map. So if you just like click on it once and it'll bring up kind of your bars and then click initiative, then it'll give Christian, it'll like put your picture next to it for the rolls. Perf. Oh, that. You guys didn't see that. I didn't see anything. <laughs> didn't see what? Don't rewind that stream to see it. No problem. All right, so I still don't have you on there, Tim. It just means that you didn't click your character. Yeah, I did. I got my, my three little... Um... Bubbles? Bubbles up there, and the two below. Um, also did not, so... And I, I clicked I clicked the uh, initiative, and I got a 21. Yeah, that's weird. Huh. Why I didn't keep your token? I mean, if it did, you did. Um, I mean, just didn't go through. It doesn't matter. I can add you in, so... Yeah. Well, right. that shows, it shows up now. <laughs> Katie, you can see the two goblins over the uh, over railings above just aiming their short bows at you, trying to fire. Where to are you the goblins? Look, they're above you, um, in about, like, this kind of pattern uh, above you is um, just an opening that opens up to the next floor. Okay. Sounds like we've been here before. Yeah. To give you guys a clear look, I'm just going to place your guys' tokens... Uh, on the next floor, just so you can see it, but you won't actually be there, alright? Okay. Sure. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> it's always worrisome when the DM says that. Really? 
Oh no, it was just Oz's token. Way to go, Oz. Alright, so yeah, up here is the uh, there we go. Floor. Oh, okay, so there's like one on each side. Yeah, and the yeah. two goblins on each side are just firing at you. Okay. Oh, but we're still and down the just stairs. Just remembering. Okay. Yeah, just remembering we are still downstairs. Yeah. If you Do would I like to. Goblin word for bastard. Token to where it is. I'm cool. Um, here, I'm going to move them outside of there, just so that you can uh, clearly tell that you are not in there. Okay. And then I'll move your token on that one as need be. Um, okay, so if I can get to here, do I have enough movement for that from where I was? Yeah, so let's see. From where you are, uh, that will take you about 60 feet of movement, so you would have to dash to get to this point. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. Um, you can still fire at the uh, goblins. Yeah, from where I am. Yeah, because mine's from, from down below. Yeah. Yeah, let's just... They would just have... Uh, they would just have half cover. Yeah, let's just start firing, firing the old longbow, right? That's what I do. A pew pew. Um, uh, right. the the guy on the right bothers me the most. Um, this guy. Oops, sorry, my character sheet's in the way. Yeah, this guy. He said unkind things about my mother, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh and, man. Yeah. Sounds like you should do. About that. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do the pew pews. All right, that is actually exactly enough that you need to hit him. Okay. Um. Damage. All right. And goblins, not being the hardiest of foes, you take an, a shot. You aim it right for its head. Bam! It brains it and it falls dead. Right okay. to the Long left eye. Down body starts to drip over the side. Um, for my second attack, I would like to do the pew-pews on that guy. Alright. Pew-pew. And that one, now you've got that. kind of an idea of what angles you need to fire at. You take the second shot, and you get the second goblin. Pew-pew. Same way, it just falls back and dies. Yeah! I'm useful. And I had my short bow all ready to go. Thanks a lot, Katie. I'm useful. Right. Tim, are you doing anything? Well, I guess I would relax my short bow. Would my short bow have reached from where I was? Down, I guess I was down here. So the uh, each floor is only about twenty feet up. So I would, I would have, I was ready with a. Yeah, I was, I was ready to shoot this. Okay, why is my thing not working? Oh, he's got to hold it down a little bit. Yeah. Right, I was aiming there, but he's not dead, so I can't, he's dead, so I'm going to advance um, I'm going to advance up here. Up where? You want to advance up to there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to delete you from that floor. Like that. There you go. Yeah, I'm going to delete you from that floor and put you on the next one. Perfect. Yeah, you advance up. You can hear footsteps above you. Coming down the stairs or up there, huh? Yes. Okay. Can I do a perception check to see? Absolutely. If I perceive anything? And where do I find that? So oh, it'll left. be on the left side of your sheet. Yep, yep. Oh, and where it says where it says per, per, perception. Ooh, that's a good roll. Anything yep. there? There, problem. There are about um five between five and seven other people, uh, creatures. Other critters. Five to seven. Okay. So 
So we are actually going downstairs from here, right? Yeah, well, if you go um, if you go in the upward direction, you're going up. If you're going this way, you're going down. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. we go. Okay. So that's just. But I, I see that I see there are Which I floor? see there are critters, but I don't. Do I? Can I perceive what they are? Really, you can't tell just from listening. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Can I smell them? <laughs> You can make an assumption, I don't... <laughs> but I will not tell you what they are exactly. Okay, all right. Uh, now I'll, 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 I'll save that roll from the initiative. Work. I'll save. I'll save that roll. Stoff. Yeah, that'll bring us to Stoff. Katie, what's uh, Stoff do? Stoff is gonna keep moving in because there's, you know, there's nothing to kill in here. Um. Too late. Thanks, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> With his full movement, he can get to about the uh, top of the stairs. Um, yep, that'll work. So right here. So is he a, a... right Close where I, right where I placed him? Okay. Um. Let's bleed him over here. He's just gonna kind of ready his weapon, which everyone knows. His weapon is the, the thing. Dwarven rover. To yeah, the thrower. That's that's ready to go. It's just kind of waiting to see what's coming up next. All right. And that's gonna bring us to our goblins. Um, and with his with their thirty feet, um, two goblins, they're gonna get to both sides of those stairs that are leading upwards. There are going to be a couple of them coming from behind. Uh, these two are just going to take their bows and they're going to take shots at um, at each of the characters that are there. So one at Stoth and one at... I don't remember your character's name, Tim. So, Stoth, other person. It's lengthy. What? It's Puru Guru. So Poo Poo Man and uh, Stoth are both missed as the uh, arrows uh, clank against your armor, Stoth, and uh, Poo Puru uh, avoids the other one. Behind them, a couple of bugbears are also appearing. Gerblins ain't got no game. I don't know. Oh. Hey, yo, uh, I have no idea what's going on above me, so I'm going to call out to the characters who have actually made it upstairs and be like, hey, you guys having trouble up there? Um, to which I probably get a response. Stoth will reply, um, just a couple of gerblins some bugbears on the way. I feel like I should know the word for goblin, like the goblin word for bastard by now. Like, I feel like that is a thing I should know. Anyway, I'm going to move uh, wherever I need to be. 100. Right here. Right here, good. Um, let's see. I, you should be able to make it there. Yeah. So right at the top of the stairs is your 30 feet of movement. Is that all I have? Oh my god. Characters that aren't... Characters that aren't... Barbarians are slow. <laughs> it's anyway. It's hard out there for a druid. <laughs> unless, you're yeah. a fuck, unless you're a rogue. Rogues can no. move like 90 feet in one turn. That's crazy. Anyway, I want to shoot wolves at them. Want you want to shoot, shoot wolves? wolves? <laughs> yeah, I, I I use conjure animals and I just yeet wolves at them. All right, um, conjure animals. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> oh, dead. 
gonna yeet wolves at them. <laughs> oh my. So I'm gonna There's try to... I, I actually think I have a wolf here, maybe? <laughs> Do you have dire wolf? Would that be easier for you? Uh, I just gotta see if I even have them. I only have my winter wolves, which are, like, much stronger. I wasn't about... prepared. So? What about I so? wasn't prepared. <laughs> what about bears? I have bears. We I have bears. Yeah, I've got a brown bear. How many brown bears can you uh, summon? All right, it's uh, two beasts of challenge rating one. So that would be two brown bears. That's a big bear. All right, uh, let me just get the uh, token correct. Would you like me to roll initiative for them, or do you want them to move on my initiative? They move on your initiative, just to make it simple. Okay. Let's see. All right. Um, are the goblins within 60 feet of my line of sight? Because it says that uh, my range is 60 feet, and my goal is to get them as close to the goblins as possible. Give me one second to uh, just get this done. All right, um, you have access to the brown bears. Yeah. And let me read that one more time. Um, yeah, you can place them wherever you want. Okay. Where are the gobos? Are you over right. here? You do have to roll down on. in the corner. They're down in the corner. So either either way, oh, that's why. Yeah, that's what. Oh, okay. You do, you do have to roll on yep. it for them. Can you not see? Uh, I cannot see what the bears see. Yeah, but you should be able to see these guys. Yeah, yeah, Barely. just so weird. <laughs> so, uh... You have access to their sheep, by the way. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why you why you did it that way. Nope, they, they get a one. Okay. <laughs> You decided to make me make me do it the hard way, so they get a one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, and that's your turn. Uh, I flick off the goblins. All right, bears, bears, the bears. Yeah, the bears are just gonna swing it in. The... Uh, this one is going to swing at that guy. Uh, multi-attack. Claw. Claw. Alright, yeah, the 22 will hit. Bada bing. Alright, so. As you summon... This, these two bears, they appear in a uh, flash of green energy and leaves. The the first one rises up on both legs and smacks down the goblin, killing it instantly. Has it been 15 minutes, Katie? Yeah, you can curse. <laughs> yeah, eat a dick! <laughs> okay. Uh, can that same bear take a step forward and swing at this guy? No, you did both attacks. Yeah, fuck you, bear. Alright. This guy doing the thing. You know what he's about. Forward, though, you know. Okay, that's fair. Thank you. Doing the thing. Is a 12 hit? All right. The 12 will miss as uh, it brings its its claw down, but the goblin blocks it off and buckles the claw with its feet. Be a dick. Going again. Second claw hits. It shouldn't be a claw, though. It should be a bite. Is it? Oh, so oh, my claw bad. One bite. Okay. I, I misread that. I don't I care for this case. Second claw comes in and hits the goblin, knocking it down a floor and busting its brain. Careful, that's heavy. Alright, that's me. Falls down there. Right. Katie, you see as just BAM in a, uh, a splatter of blood and brain, the second goblin lands in front of you. Not 
Nice one, guys. That brings us back to your turn. Um, I hope you guys I... feel strong, because that's going to change. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> can I get to the top of the stairs? Yeah. Okay. You can. You can make it. Um. Well, you can make it to the bottom of the stairs, and then you can dash to get to the uh, to the top of the stairs and uh, move ten feet from there. Yeah, but then I can't do the the killings and the whatnot. So let's let's get to the bottom of the stairs. Is that where? That's where you cannot see the bugbears from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then I'll just that's, hang that's here. That's twenty five feet. That's twenty five feet, so you do still have five more feet of Go movement. Five more? Okay. I'll be like, guys, how's it going? Well, there are no more goblins. But there are bugbears. And Great. bugbears are going to swing at the bears. One on the right hits the bear with his morning star and smashes a good chunk of its head in. Takes 12 points of damage. I've already calculated it. The second one moves up to attack the other one and hits it with his morning star for 11 points of damage, smacking off a few of its teeth. Hey, do you need me to keep track of their health, or are you doing that? I just did. Okay, thank you. Alright, Oz. What's up, Gustav? Yo. Oh, um, shoot. Fun fact, Gustav helped me, uh, <laughs> helped me test this. Oh, fun! So and he, knows... he recommended, he was the one who recommended that I add in the, uh, the goblins and the bugbears. Uh oh, thanks, Gustav. <laughs> God, I hate goblins. Uh, you, you should be happy because this is the only like good times you guys are gonna have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. <clears throat> I guess I will. I shouldn't burn through all my spells right now. But when do I ever get to cast spells? <laughs> Fair. Okay. Let me think. Burning spells on bugbears. Classic. God, how many... One, and our first encounter, too. Yeah. Three. Okay, so... I'm very we just cleared, we just. What spell are you trying to cast? I'm just trying to walk closer to them. Okay, yeah. Uh, where are you trying to move? Right. Right. That's About 25 there. feet. Oh, I guess you can move one more square. Uh, yeah, you can move one more square if you want. Okay. Right there. And I'll tell them to eat a dick. <laughs> and that's me. Is that all? That is all Romulus is Wouldn't doing. Dick? All you're doing. Okay. Uh, bears. You know what Remember, they're about. it's only one of each. Okay, okay, okay. That's going to be for this guy. To All right. Guy. That will hit. Eat a dick. <laughs> oh, wait. Minus yep. eight. The bugbear gets bitten on his arm from the bear as he tries to shake off the bear. Just That's not a dick. Over and over again. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming 13 doesn't cut it. And he knocks it out of the way and deflects its claw with its morning star. Oof. Okay. So Second bear. This guy is going to go and do the thing. Once again, this one gets right into his shoulder and starts biting into it. Dealing 11 points of damage just to show that. Nice. And then with its claws coming up, the bugbear... Once again, knowing the dam the damage that he's about to feel, he doesn't want that, knocks it out of the way and pushes the bear off of it. Oh my god. <laughs> it's almost like you were one easy point part. short. Pass turn. <laughs> this is the easy part. You guys haven't taken any damage, I don't think. Not, not right. yet. 
Not not That'll well. Somebody you. got a somebody got an arrow in the shoulder. Oh yeah. Him. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Um. Okay. From where I am on the stairs, can I see any of the action that's happening? I mean, I can see the bugbears bouncing around, but can I see anything else? Um. On my really. on my screen, out of so, character, I can uh, see I'll a shadow. If you look up, to where Stoth is. Oh. Um, if you guys look up, you can see that there is, in fact, more um, stuff going on uh, above you. That's the uh, the shape of uh, what's above you, and those black areas are, in fact, uh, holes that lead to the lower floor. <laughs> Okay. I'll just leave you guys there so you can see it. So, I'm really kind of confused where. <laughs> so you're still on the I second. Am. You're on the first floor at the bottom yeah. of the stairs to go up to the second floor. And that's coming up. Uh, which does it matter? Which side? Uh, we are advancing up. Either. No, it doesn't matter for this I, part. That, this is the second okay. floor. This is what's above you. And you can see that it's that designed uh, above you. Like, All right, I'm going, to I'm going to advance on up the stairs. All right, so that's 25 feet. Uh, how, where, where do I move to this if I want to go further? Right uh, here? You use your bonus action to dash or your main action to dash if you wanted to get closer. No, I'll stand right there. And observe what's going on. I have still have my cross uh, short bow unlimbered with an arrow ready. But Yeah, you can hit them now. Um, they're like almost, they're 15 feet uh, short of like your, your max range. Okay, um, since I did not really see what's happening, can I tell which one might be any worse off They're both with a perception? The they both have uh, gotten like the uh, the same amount of damage. If you want to use okay. perception, you can uh, you can waste your turn taking a good stare at them. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to go since Katie's in the way over there for that one. I'm going to I'm going to go shoot. Uh, short bow at this guy. All right. Take the shot. Slip. All right. A 14 will miss. As Do you, I get more than one shot? Not as a rogue. You take okay. your shot, you, and it flies over him. Does it distract him? No. Damn. I'll bring us to our bugbears. Uh, they're both going to, once again, just take shots at the bears. Uh, the one on the right uh, completely misses the bear, uh, since he's just, like, recovering from his his arm getting pulled. The one on the left, he's going to crit. Ouch! Oof. And deal 17 points of damage to the bear. <laughs> the bear is on its last legs. All right, Oz. Oh man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> shit. How how is this bugbear looking? Um. Both of them are not that bad. Not that bad. Like, you know, bad in comparison to like what your health would have been if it was at this, but not compared to their health. They've only been hit a little bit. <clears throat> So there's no blood flowing freely, huh? Don't do anything stupid, Oz. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> We've gotten <laughs> bitten by a bear. That's about it. For a bugbear, that's just a Tuesday. Tuesday. I'd like to reiterate. Afternoon. Don't do anything stupid, Oz. <laughs> hey, Oz. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll think. I'll, I'll be rational here for a second. Okay, uh, Romulus is gonna move right here, 
And uh, I guess he'll just produ um, do this thing, Maru. And the guy. The guy on the left? Yep. All right. He will make his uh, con save. And he will fail, so you will be able to deal uh, 2d12 uh, points of poison damage to him. Yes. Is there... Do I... Do, okay, 2d12. Boop. 11 points of poison damage. As the... You just make the spray of uh, purple mist that goes... Uh, that appears underneath him and starts to envelop his form. And you just... And I just whisper... What? <laughs> <laughs> and then I wait for like, no. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's going to be Romulus. Alright, that'll bring us to the bears. Bear number one, doing the thing. That's the one on the right? Yep. Alright, he does the thing. Doing the thing. Oof. He does All the right. thing. The bugbear is still standing. That's a thing. Alright. Going for the second one. And that also hits. Hell yeah. This bugbear gets pulled by the teeth of this bear uh, and then gets smacked around. He is looking really bad. Blood dripping everywhere. He's on his last legs. This one's name is... Shake him like a ragdoll. And this one's name is Tadias. Anyway. Ah, okay. Oh. That one goes in for the bite. And even though he's coughing, he... Uh, avoids the bite. Damn it. But but he avoids the bite by dropping down, which allows the bear to just fall on him and crush him to death. He's dead. Oh, hell yeah. Way to go, bear! Go, bears! Go, bears! Right, that's, that's, that's the bears. Both bears. Bears. Um... Okay, uh, from my vantage point, I will try my... <clears throat> get out of the way, elf. My short bow. Oh, you're good. I'm down the stairs. This... Yeah, that's Tim. Oh, that's... I'm, I'm way above you. Oh, oh. that's Tim. I gotcha. Uh, Stoth, okay. Did Tim and I end up off the... Uh, did Stoth and I end up off the turn order somehow? Uh, apparently. I have no idea how. I don't know either. I just was like, oh! <laughs> Wait. That was weird. Am I standing here doing, um, am I doing my nails? You what? can go right now after after Tim goes, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Let him <laughs> go, and then you guys will go on his initiative after. Okay. I think okay. I know what happened. So... This is just what happens with multiple tokens. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> okay, so uh, like I said, I've, I've got the short bow. Well, again, try. I didn't do well. I'm not in, with the, in dagger range, damn it. And I missed. That will also miss, yeah. All right, uh, Katie, you Zing. and Stoth can go. Katie got in the way. Tried to miss Katie and I missed Stoth everything. Got in the way. Stoth isn't even here and he gets in the way. <laughs> well, Okay. I think I'm counting right that this is 25. 5, 10. That's 30. It's 30? Am I still good at 30? Yeah. I don't you have to go around the brazier. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to just do that. You'd have to. Oh, I have 30. Go that. Okay. Yeah. 30 is my max? Okay, perf. That's fine. I want to shoot that guy. That sweet. That sweet bugbear. All right. Um. So let's just longbow it. Yes. Don't even roll. Ding. Okay. Don't even Ding. Need to roll. You take a Ding. shot. This guy's Ding. on his last leg. He's like on his knees, and you're just like throat shot. <laughs> and he just falls down dead. That's how it's done, boys. Too bad you're long. Too bad your longbow is taller than I am. I could use that. 
Maybe I'll maybe I'll do thug life and shoot from the side shoot sideways, huh? Can I um <laughs> go communist? Let's. Can I perception check before we kind of go up the stairs? What's what's stuff gonna do? I think we're out of combat, so. Hey, you can perception. I don't think a 10 sees me very much. No, not really. Yep. Um, is everybody okay? Except for a sore shoulder. Right, Oz? Yeah. All right. Um, can I ask my bears? Can my bears try to see if they smell any, any goblins? Yeah, they can. <sighs> They're standing over them, so I think you can smell goblins. Is that a wisdom thing? Yeah, That's they would says. roll uh, perception. How, how do how do I do that? On their character you would just sheet, roll right? wisdom. Okay. You okay. have their character sheet. Yeah. They have they have advantage. Mm -hmm. All right. Did I drop out again? Damn it. Nope, you didn't drop out. You're I'm good. just no. not saying it. Uh, <laughs> Everybody. That's not how conjure animals works. <clears throat> what? It's not how conjure animals works. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, they you you basically get two spawns, um, or like any number of spawns that are friendly towards you, um, and obey uh your verbal commands that you issue. Um yeah. But you can't understand them unless you like specifically <sighs> cast a spell that is also concentration to understand them. Or if you're able to understand them naturally. Damn it. <laughs> so the bears have so do they, knowledge? Do they, do, do, they, do, they, do they perk up and both look a, a certain direction for you know, pay attention to a certain direction somewhere? None particular. None that you can Maybe. understand. What if I clap my hands together and I'm like, okay, boys, get them. All right, they'll start walking up the stairs. Oh, yeah, I did. All right, let's, you guys ready to move up? We in those rooms aren't doing anything. Let's just start. I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to stick with, with Tadias and, uh. Roosevelt. Are you just following them? Is everyone just yeah. following them? I'm. I'm staying. Yeah. Oh, sure. Behind them. Yeah, I kind of want to. Oh, there's a wall there. It's like my heart. Yeah. There's a wall there. All right. Yeah, your characters here. You guys go up to the next floor. Okay. Um. It is can, a uh, half. It is a semicircle. Can I do a perception check? My new favorite thing. Absolutely, you can. My new favorite thing. Come on, let me tell you about my best friend. <laughs> And the bear go and the bears go you, round and round. You listen, and with your elven ears, you can hear the whispers of a. <laughs> okay, guys, somebody's goblin cacklings. But even more, you hear another laugh. Uh oh, far more sinister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, goblin. there's a. Uh... Bear. Groggly voice to it, like it's coming. It's being bellowed out from something larger. Okay, but so the room looks safe, but I can hear stuff. Yeah. I don't notice anything um, in the room. It, I should say. Yeah, just to show you, also, um, the the floor above you is a uh, inexact replica 
of um of the one that you're in, just opposite side. Okay. Okay. Hey, do we okay. know how tall this place is? No. Seven stories. No, he said about. I mentioned it at the beginning. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. About seven floors. All right, let's go. Let's go up. Let's let's do this. So before <laughs> we continue, Gustav, please place the appropriate um the appropriate icon in the chat if you are still here and you know what's about to happen. <laughs> uh, do you guys continue to the next floor? Yeah, I mean, we didn't, I didn't yeah. see any, or I didn't perceive any danger. Any reason, to, yeah, I didn't read any reason to stop. There's next floor. You guys aren't like doing anything in any particular order. I'm staying 30 feet behind Roosevelt and Tadias, but that's about it. 30 feet behind? Yep. Okay. So Operation Bear Guinea Pigs is what we're doing right now? Yep. Oh, yep. Yeah, Bear Force One. <laughs> Bear Force and two. One. I'm going to place... Yeah, I'm going to have the bears there. Place yourselves in the exact area that you would be in. Um... Yeah, I'm always real cautious, so I'm going to kind of hug the wall as we come up the stairs. Whilst you guys are doing that, um, also, um, to describe the room above you, it is a circle with, like, a donut hole. Okay. And the donut hole is, is empty. Uh, it goes through to the next floor. Um, Does it go any higher? What? I'm too far away. I can't see it. Never mind. All right. So. So. What's Stoff doing? Yeah, place your guys in the correct positions that you want to be in. Well, Stoff is ballsy, so he'd be like out here somewhere. I always hang way back because I, I pew pew from the back. I'm just getting these guys ready um, for bite tokens. Um, can I do another perception check? You may. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I do the thing. What's the thing? Yeah, you make. You, uh, so you're changing your position in that case. Yes. Be next to her. Yeah. Ugh. You get to add a d4. I get to roll a d4 and add it. Plus it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now that it matters. Okay. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> <laughs> You're helping so hard. F's in the chat for the moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. You don't hear any more of the cackling as Romulus puts his hand on you to uh, guide you through what you're looking for. You then feel as Romulus's hand leaves you. Romulus, I need to Yo. my icon for this. Make a strength save. A strength save? Oops. That looks not good. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, as you start crap. to be lifted uh, up <clears throat> above the ground, you then just keep twisting until you fall back to the ground as you see oh. a creature that begins to look down on all of you. Float what, you think you're better than me? Floor with one eye. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't grab onto to K 
Katie, to, to anchor yourself? I didn't need to. <laughs> With one eye, your <coughs> bears then begin to dissipate as their magic fades. This seems bad. As everything in, in its path begins to be... As everything magical in its eye path is destroyed... Roll for initiative against the beholder. Everybody. Oh, well, let me click. Um... Christian, it won't let me click. Oh, there it goes. Never mind. Take it back. What is it with you and your initiative, Romulus? I'm a very relaxed person. Uh, I think it's because I'm so cocky. Um, <laughs> so I, I am never alert, ever. Just to make sure that the uh, stuff doesn't happen again, I'm just adding everyone's initiative, like, manually. Okay. Um... And then, uh... Let's see. Stoth was a 20. Curse was a 22. Romulus was a 9. And Tim was a 10. At least I'm better than the stupid beholder. Can we say clueless? <laughs> it's going to be fun, guys. That will start. Yeah. I'm just going to make Stoths a 21 because the lair action goes on 20 uh, after anyone else rolled a 20, so. Curse. You were first. Okay. I. I'm guessing I don't have an angle at the beholder from where I'm at? Oh, you do. It is 20 feet up in this position as it is floating there um, just below the ring of uh, stone above you. Okay. So he's not like, he doesn't have any cover or anything like that. I can just hit like normal? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay. You just don't have magic. Your magical, in the any magic items are that are in its, uh, that it can see are no longer magical. Anybody who uses a spell, the spell is uh, dissipated while in its anti-magic cone. Am I How long is that anti-magic? And the ma anti-magic cone is all of that. Okay, boo. Can How I long tell? does it last? Anything it can see, period. Oh, so moving closer to the stairs, it wouldn't help or anything like that. The Not opposite really. side. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead. Does that include, like, so, like, does my oath bow no longer do oath bow things? Or? Yep. Okay. Your oath bow would be ineffective here. Okay. Oh, it would still be a bow, but that's. Yeah, it would still be a bow, but you wouldn't get any uh, any bonuses from it. Okay. And then, um, and I can't Hunter's Mark because that's magical. Okay. So just yep. uh, longbow to the face. Let's go. <clears throat> go with the pew pews. Go to the eye. Get the eye. Hit the eye. Oh, that's I don't oh, think I see it. If you guys remember, it's time for the random the wheel of randomness. All right, 83, you just miss. Um, you fire your bow, um, terrified of whatever this creature is, as it, like, lifts your friend off of his feet for a second um you're just 
freaking out a little bit, so you uh, you just spook in the opposite direction of the boulder. <laughs> that's tw that's towards Oz. Look out, Oz! <laughs> he has to duck, but, uh, just to make sure he doesn't get hit. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll try. I'll try the pew pews one more time. Maybe that went better. Fifteen misses. Yeah, I was gonna say it didn't go much better. Um, you fire, and this time it gets close to him, but its telekinetic ray just moves it out of the way. I mean, I feel like there's not really hiding from this guy, so it has three hundred and sixty degree sight. Yeah, its large, uh, its large eye though is the one that has the anti magic cone. Because normally I'd try to, like, back up, but I don't think that's going to do anything. So... I will switch to stuff then. Ah! <clears throat> so I can't reach him, and I can't do magic. Does he have his throwy thing? Um, he has a thrower, but then it'll just be gone. Like, I won't be able to get it back. Go down to the next floor. Yeah, so Stoth is just gonna try to... It's... <clears throat> Stoth is gonna try to move up to get to the next floor. So one, two, three, four, five... He can only go five, right? 25 feet? Uh, as a dwarf, yes. Okay. You can only move 20 feet without dashing. Okay. Um, how much further can he go dashing? Uh, he can move another 25. Okay, so let's... We good. Let's go here. Let's go here, halfway up the stairs. And then that'll be his turn, because he can't do any magics. All right. Um, I'm going to move the, um, all of these, uh, guys over to the side for the moment, just so that it'll be easier to, uh, move everybody when I need to. Yeah, I'm currently quite pleased to be a ranger, Gustav, you're right. <laughs> it's like, well, at least I can bow. <laughs> As yep. Stoth ends his turn... The Beholder is going to use a legendary action to shoot a slowing ray at Stock. He needs to make a dexterity save. Okay. Pull him back up here. Not looking good. <laughs> and, and a sheet of pink energy blasts towards him in an oscillating fa fashion. Um, uh, he then begins to move slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so, on his turn, um, he can repeat the saving throw at the end of his turn okay. uh, to try to try and uh, gain back his speed. But he can only move half speed and only do one action or one bonus action for his turn. Okay. Next, that will bring us to our lair action. And as you guys, um, as you guys are just sitting there, you see as the walls begin to, uh, grow these, uh, grasping appendages about Apes. 10 feet out. Uh, they don't go and hit you, Curse or, um, or Oz, but they are in perfect range for, uh, Puru and for, uh, Stoth. So, what kind of a saving throw do I need for that? That'll be at the beginning of your turn. Which oh. is... No! You need okay, to which is... Or become the, grappled. A dex save. Or, I'm sorry, a strength save. Ow. I'll take oh. the dex. Okay. No, yeah, sorry, it was a dex save. Uh, it's a strength save to escape. That, uh, yeah, yeah, the dex um, save, the dex save to... Rasp you, uh, you just... So agile, you move roll. out of the way. Roll, just roll out of the way. Phew. 
So, hey, hold on. Chotomatic Kurosai. They good enough? Am I out of range? Yeah. Okay. Now, um, having duck and roll, did a shoulder roll out from under those grasping grasper thingies. Can I st still use a short bow with all oh, that yeah, absolutely. tumbling and jumping and rolling yeah, and no re no reason acrobatics? No reason you shouldn't be able to. And I miss. You pull back and you fire and it just doesn't reach far enough. Um, <laughs> you're, just not used to, you're not used to firing at something that's uh, floating. Yeah, and just and dodge the, of the wall and that the come up on a knee and... Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm away from the wall. All right. Don't have uh, anything magic, so yeah. Uh, make another uh, strength save. Yo. Uh, strength save. All right. You are moved 30 feet this direction. Yipes. And you are tossed 20 feet down to the previous floor. <laughs> I need you to make a deck save. All right, you're going to take a d6 of damage. So you're going to take two points of damage as you fall and hit the floor underneath you. Okay, can I still see this guy? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see him. He's 40 feet above you. How is he? You're out, of, you're out of the magic r r cone. That'll be your turn, yeah. You are out of the magic cone. Is he positioned uh, perfectly cone. so that, like... So that... Okay. Okay, so what is directly beneath the beholder? Open Nothing. an open floor. Where you are is beneath him. Now the floor below is a mirror image of where we are here. Okay. Um, am I prone? Probably. Uh, you are, because you failed your deck save. Okay, I would like to stand up. Alright, use half your movement to do that. So, I would like to stand directly beneath where this guy is, and I guess I'm going to do this number. You're going to polymorph a beholder? I like your balls. <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> I'm going to try Change him, change him in. I'm going to try to turn him into a rabbit, and then I want to catch the rabbit. All right. You're going to choose to succeed. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, you got to do what you can do. I get it. Yeah, I, I, like, like I said, a last-ditch effort fireball saved our butts last week. Yeah. No, yeah. This is just this is a beholder. I'm not going to... I mean, he's not going to let it just go like that. Yeah, he's not going to... Is that what you're shouting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Oz, make a dex save. Okay. <laughs> oh, not petrification. It was disintegration that I meant to do. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. One of his eyes looks right at you as you say that and just... <clears throat> as a beam of green energy comes down on you. I actually think I have an effect sound for this. I don't know if you guys can hear it because it's not playing for me. No, oh, that one I don't hear. Uh, it's... No. I don't know why it's not why it's not going. Oh well, I'm just gonna delete that folder then. Because none of them have been working. I think it's pre-workout time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That'll actually bring us to our goblins and bugbears. Of which two goblins are going to go down the stairs and meet Stoth. And the other two goblins are... Did he make, did he, did he make his uh, second roll? No, not yet. 
It hasn't been his turn yet. The other two are going to be ah, okay. taking ropes down to this floor to attack you, Katie, one of them. And the other one is going to uh, get to about here. And then behind them are the uh, two bugbears that then take their ro take the rope down as well. So, two goblins are going to attack stuff. Okay. With their scimitars. And even though he is slowed, I don't think that affects his armor class or anything. Shouldn't. Okay. And I think that's Miss Miss. I don't I don't have his memorized, yeah. but both yeah. Of those miss since his armor class is a 20. Um then a scimitar is going to come at you, Katie. Okay. Which is going to hit. You're going to take yeah. seven points of slashing. And the bugbear there. Have you gone in combat already? Yeah, you have. The bugbear is going to attack you with his morning star. But I believe a 14 will miss. I believe a 14 misses. As it clings down next to you. And that'll bring us to your turn, Curse. All right. I don't like how close these guys are, but I can't really disengage at the mo. So, what do I have that I can stab them with? Um. I'm gonna try to bludgeon the bugbear with this dwarven thrower. I forgot that she had one. It's on my sheet. Huh. I know, that's what I was like too. Do I not have it? Should I switch to hand axe? I'll switch to hand axe. Um, so. Uh, I just have to do some calculation. Uh, you do have it. It's just not magical, so you're not getting the plus three magic to hit. Okay. You're also not getting the plus two from your archery. So you slam it on the ground since you're not really used to using, um, hammers like this. And you miss completely with it. Okay. Um, but I get another attack? You do. Alright, let's try her again. Swing! And that'll be a I like attack, that. Which will hit. You then swing back up and hit him with the Dwarven Thrower. And you deal... Is it just the... Three points of damage. Three? Okay. Yeah. Better than okay. nothing, Kate. Yeah, gotta do something. Um, yeah, that's all I got for now. So, stuff. Nope. Then, the Beholder does his legendary action again. <laughs> Fuck. You know what? Just to make this simple. Batman singing along with the background music? Yeah, he sure is. We're just gonna add these then. Let's see, they'll do that on... 22... Nineteen. Oh, shit. You're playing the part of the bugbear, Batman? Is that what you're doing? He is. He's on yeah. my side. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Legendary action. Uh, random eye beam. Oh, boy. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, that I have them on there? All right. So this one's going to be coming at, um, at Yupuru. Okay. Uh, paralyzing ray. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Dex uh, has rolled again. Um, constitution, uh, it looks like. Constitution save. Uh. Alright. As this yellow ray blasts into you, going at almost like an electrical ray going through your body, and you tense up, and you are paralyzed. 
You can remake the con save at the end of your turn. Okay. Stop. You are slowed. He is slowed. Um, I'm just. He's also out of the range of the icon, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch a goblin. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, let's. Yeah, let's hit a goblin with this thrower bop here. Oh Punch. yeah. He raises up the dwarven thrower and just slams down and kills it. Oh, sorry. I guess I should have picked one. Um, let's do this bottom one here. That's when the one I was already doing. Okay, sweet. I was like, I should have been specific. <laughs> Great minds. Um, for simplicity, I am moving uh, a copy of um, of you guys to each floor in the very corner. So you guys can see all three floors. Do not move the um, the bottom guys. Or the uh, the top left corner guys. Okay. They're, they're just there so you can see each of the floors. Uh, so then it makes the combat a little simpler for you guys. Um, yeah. Yes. Stoth does not have a second attack, I'm assuming? He does not. Uh, as a cleric, he also cannot use his bonus action because he is slowed. Yep. He can, however, now make the deck save again. Yeah, I can do the deck save one more time. Okay. All right, and he succeeds. And after hitting that goblin, he starts to feel the blood rushing through his body again. And he can move at normal speed. Woohoo! And that will bring us to our lair action. Where slimy terrain happens. <laughs> and this entire area here. It's slimy now? It's slimy. Slimed. Well, that's good oh, because the... This the entire bug. area... Oh, gotcha, because that's the next... It slides down? Level down. Yeah. Yep. Checks out. It's rough. I'm going to make it green so that it looks slimy, too. <laughs> that means it affects the bugbear and the goblin, too. It does. What it does is it makes the uh, terrain difficult. Yes. Then he's going to do his legendary action, a random eye beam. Five. So that's going to be an enervation ray, and we are going to fire that at Stoth. Puru! Oh, damn. Okay, so Stoth... Uh, I have something worse for Puru. <laughs> Stoth, make a con save. Okay. He barely misses it and uh, takes 40 damage. Uh, However, I believe that he is, he has a thing against Necrotic. Um, I should really just be reading his sheet all the time during my downtime. Um, no, he doesn't. I thought he did. Okay. Nope. Alright, so... No, you take 40 points of necrotic damage. Oof. So that means, like, my health can't go back above that? No, that's not what that means. Oh. That's, uh... That's just necrotic damage. It's, um, the life drain that was doing that from before. Oh, okay. Enervation ray is different. It's just a, it's just a beam of, of wispy blue energy that causes you to, like, age... And like, uh, cough up blood and stuff. Oh, sweet! But right now, that's, that's necrotic. Yes. As blood just begins to spill out of his mouth. Awesome! It's going great. All right, Tim. Uh, I'm friz. I'm frozen. Frizzed. You are, and I need you to make a con save for that. All right. So, at the end of your turn, you start to move a little bit and get out of the paralyzation. Okay. So how how much can I move? Or how fast can I move? Or, I would like to go here. You cannot. 
It's at the end of your turn. Oh. All I did this time was get out of get uh, get away from the paralyzation ray. Or okay. Yeah. So all you did was get out of it. Okay. So I can't even fire my I can't even fire my bow. Nope. Okay. I am right now just doing stuff that is supposed to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. What, killing us? <laughs> oh, no, it's just like I'm trying to get the legendary actions in the right position. Okay, they are now. Okay, and that will... I'm... Um, we're on Romulus, I think. And then... We are doing oh. one more legendary action. Boo. We're on Romulus. <laughs> <laughs> Curse. Yep. Make a wisdom save. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> Is Katie the wise? Is Curse <laughs> the wise? The wise. As a beam of purplish pink energy blasts her and you guys just everyone who's there the blast pops off into a bunch of little hearts because it's a charm <laughs> right <laughs> um, uh, and Katie's like, just like, like nah you're very ugly you're not that charming <laughs> but barely hey, I thought about it but, but I didn't have enough drinks in me and I was like never mind <laughs> <laughs> you didn't, you didn't buy the re you didn't buy me drinks <laughs> That'll bring us back to Romulus. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Romulus is going to move over here. Uh, and he's going to try to do the thing again because he's not going to be able to do much of anything else from all the way down here. You can do it. Do the thing. Go. Either do the thing. But correct me if I'm wrong, Christian, but since... <laughs> but since Katie is within that cone, would... The anti magic, not just make her not charmed. That's not how it works. Okay. I beat her different. <laughs> Good idea, though. Okay. No, I was just. I was just the, this is what makes Beholder so dangerous. Their eye beams um, are not affected by their their cone of anti magic. That's wild. Okay, that's all. I'm that's what makes them so dangerous. Just casually like, rolls a save of 24. No biggie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that they're very wise. I don't know about <laughs> At this but point, they have yeah. a pretty, their, their mental saves are very high. Um, yeah. This one has a thing for petrification, and he's going to try and petrify stuff. Okay. Um, deck save? Yes. Con I thought it was constitution. Not this one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. This white beam blasts out at him, and Stoth just gets out of the way. He's like, no, as a chunk of stone begins to form in an upward um, blast. That'll bring us to the <clears throat> goblins. A stalagmite. Stalagmite, stalagmite that's perfect. Goblins and the bugbears. Um, <sighs> goblin, okay. that, there's going to be a goblin attacking stop. With scimitar. That will hit. Ty stop goes to you, boo. <laughs> One attack on Puru. That's going to miss. An attack on you, Curse. And that'll hit. Yep. For five slashing. And then that'll bring us to our bugbears. One is going to attack uh, Puru. 21 will hit mm -hmm. for 13 Ooh. points of piercing. The morning star crashes into your uh, your chest. And then one is going to attack Curse and is going to, once again, swing high, missing you. Sweet. Curse. Okay. Get him, Curse. Um, they're slipping and sliding too. Gonna try to oh. hit me a bugbear. Curse. Curse, push you over the edge. Curse. Oh yeah, can I? 
Well, it's probably a strength thing. Oh no, that's interesting. No, I read anti magic cone right wrong. It does work against its own eye rays. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. I mean, uh, after what you had said about the um, that one D and D question I'd asked you last week, it would make sense if I, I don't fucking know. It's not spells, so yeah. Um, I mean, I will. I will do it rules as written for now. <laughs> um, which means for the moment. We're just gonna have its eye beam facing the way that it is, um, and we'll we'll be a little more specific about it next turn. So that so I did not get paralyzed, really. No, you Oops. you you could oh, well. have been paralyzed. So, oh well. I just so I disagree with that. But, you know. I I can understand you because it he's developing. I mean, it's his power. It's his innate thing. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But I can that, see your point. That is uh, that is a discussion for a different time. I like to keep yep. the game moving, so let's go. We're gonna we're gonna just continue on. Curse, it is your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna dwarven thrower on the bugbear. All right, uh, that is going to miss. Okay, I'm gonna dwarven thrower on the bugbear, and that will also miss because you don't have the magic. Yeah. Uh, that that is helping you. So, two slams on the ground miss the bugbear. Why is the thrower so heavy? Um. Because you're a wimp? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, gonna have a random eye. Uh, fear ray. Go towards. Stop. Okay, so that's a wisdom save. Um, He's pretty good at those, though. Should be. Where does a tie go? That goes to the uh, person who's making the save. So he has this red beam of crackling energy come at him. It hits him, and he is able to shake off the fears due to his innate sense of uh, worth, I guess. Yeah. He really thinks highly of himself thinks or something. Thinks very highly of himself. <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> Alright, that'll bring us to Stoth. Okay, Stoth is going to... Um, try to dwarven thrower a gerblin? Um, I think that's his only melee weapon that I can see. And that it will hit. Okay. As he is going to smash the second goblin and kill it. Okay. Kilt. So there's. This is all empty space, right? He can't actually. Like, where do the stairs lead? They lead down to the floor to the left. Those lead down. Okay. So both sets of stairs lead down? No, the one that he's on is leading up. If you move these people, you'll see. Okay. Says up. So this is solid ground. Like I want to move what him is? like towards. That would lead to the floor on the right. The circle, the donut. Oh, it's because my map wasn't pushed over far enough. Okay. Um. Which is not the same floor as what this guy is on, so I don't really have a way. Oh, no, he's on the. Gotcha. So going up doesn't really do anything for me. Okay. We well, get you sort well, with a beholder you can't get behind it, but okay. Um. Okay, that's that's my turn then. Or Stoth's turn. <laughs> All right. Lair action. <sighs> so. Um, just to be clear about how the, um, how all the lair actions work, once they're, um, once the turn has ended, they do, in fact, uh, disappear. So, like, the, uh, the grasping stuff is gone as well. Just in case I hadn't made that clear enough. 
Oh, okay, gotcha. So, yeah, like, the, it, it the it ooze is gone? Thing, but I realized I might not have said anything, so... Okay, so, like, the, the difficult terrain is gone? So, the magic... The magic... The magic's gone? Magic... Cone? No, that's innate. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm saying the lair action stuff is gone, though. Um, okay, one and turn. it opens up for his next one, which is an eye beam. It's going to open right here next to us. Uh... And I need you to make a con save, Oz. <laughs> you can do it. Alrighty. Rogers you know is going to dig make deep save. and do the thing. Do the thing. Hey, yo. That'll yeah, work. That's a All thing. Right. That'll work. We're going to take half of that damage, taking 18 points. <laughs> Alright, Tim, this will bring us to you. Okay. Um, uh, will I have had time? Will I have had time? If I have time, I'm going to uh, slip my bow over my arm and grab my daggers. Yeah, I like absolutely. my daggers. Your two daggers. Yep. You grab and them. I'm. If. No, I can't do that, damn it. Um, can I move? Can I use the goblin as a shield for the bugbear? Can I move? Can I move here? Um, and still you know, just move around the bugbear, and the bugbear will get an attack of opportunity on you. But you can try. Are you going okay. to try and use the goblin? Yeah, I want to try to Ow. get around the goblin. All right, so. You would have to disengage if you don't want the bugbear to attack you. Okay, I'll... Are you yeah. using your bow action or your main action to do that? As a rogue, your cunning action does allow you to do that. Yeah, I'm going to try to disengage from the bugbear, move around the, the goblin to shoot, use him as a goblin shield, not a meat, yeah, meat shield. You're using, you're using your bonus action, right? Right. Okay. So what do I roll? That's not a roll. You can use your bonus oh. action just to disengage. Okay, but I, that lose I lose an I lose an attack, right? Yeah, you can't use your bonus action to attack with your offhand dagger. So I only get one attack. Yes. And that'll hit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I need you to roll it, man. You gotta just click. Down. Oh, I thought I, I hit, I hit, I hit. I scooted over to the damage, and it didn't do anything. So, one d four plus four. Oh, if you click where it says dagger, it should do it. I did. I did the in the chat. I did the dagger. That's that's the uh... in the chat. Oh yeah. In oh, the chat. in the chat. Oh, yep, yep. So, so I'll use I'll use the first one just to be fair here. All right. Yeah. Seven points of damage. You stab it right in its chest and kill it. Kill it. Oh, there goes my shield! Shit! <laughs> I killed my shield! Of course, dagger works well, but I killed my shield! <laughs> uh, let's see, as the, uh... I kick, I try to kick him under the, the bugbear. I try to tangle him. He falls, I try to kick his body. Stop as I make a strength save. Stop. Strength save. All right. He succeeds as the he could feel a uh, telekinetic beam pulling him, trying to pull him off of the staircase into the pit, and he's able to stay that off. Oof. Gravity changes. Romulus. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yep. 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 Okay, sorry about that. My microphone was being weird. Alrighty then, Romulus is okay. looking thoroughly not happy. Hey guys, I gotta I gotta run and take my meds, so kind of slow things. Okay. Down. All right. Um. 
okay. I call up to the party up there, like, hey, how you guys looking? Um, we could use some help. Yeah, okay, we're gonna. All right, I'm going to try to get as far up the stairs as I can. All right, so that'll so... be 30 feet would get you to here. Like right about here? Yeah, that's not on this floor, by the way. I need to change that color. That's fine. That's not on this floor. Like, this is completely separate from this. So, like, where this I, I, uh, ends... I, I cannot see what you're gesturing at. This? Right in front of your character? You yes. do need to move five feet from there in order to move on to here. That's the black okay, space so right here. On, uh, so be right here. On, on this side. On the right-hand side. Okay. All right. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. So I would have to be, like, right here in order to be on this floor. No, that wouldn't. That would still not be on the floor. That would be right here. That'd be right here. I still can't see the weird gesturing yet, but okay. I shift pinged you there. Okay, you should it. be able to see it. Right there is where what you were pinging. Okay. That's right here. All right. Um. You know, what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead. Romulus is gonna go ahead. Just last ditch effort, even though no longer underneath there. Final third level spell slot. <laughs> Doing the thing. That's not a third level of spell slot. Is it not? That's fourth level. Fourth level spell slot. What are spells? Okay. I am adjusting your sheet because you've not been keeping track of them very well either. I've used three and produce flame. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I did do... Conjure animals. Yeah, I adjusted it for you. All right, thank you. So you're going to try and use your last one to try and polymorph it. Yeah. Okay. He will use his secondary, his second legendary resistance. Okay. That is Romulus. So, did the 12 not work then? Or he gets stuff added he to it? He used the legendary resistance to choose to succeed. Gotcha. That'll bring us back to the beholder. And uh, he is going to... I feel... I will be nice. <laughs> He's going to throw a disintegration ray at Curse. Okay. Dex? Okay. Yeah, that'll be a dex save from you. You succeed, and you take 26 points of force damage. As you can feel, this green ray that is blasting you is slowly destroying the matter that makes you uh, that makes you whole. That's disturbing. Yeah. The uh, By the way, this beholder is not taking any damage. He's also going to lower himself and is going to move his uh, icon. I'm scared. Yeah, no me gusta. He's going to move 20 feet this way. And 
and make that his new cone. What is going on? He phase shifted. <laughs> so, yeah, he moved around so that it would be less likely that uh, you, Oz, would be able to cast magic. That's going to be against the goblins. Uh, of which they are all except for one dead. Goblin's gonna attack you, Katie. Oh, I'm so lucky. He's gonna hit you. Who's a lucky three girl? Damage. <laughs> okay. And then the bugbear uh, is going to just step on the goblin corpse and attack you, Puru. He's going to hit you with his morning star, and you're gonna take eight points of damage. We'll have to remember and the second that. One okay, is going what I miss? Attack you, curse. Oh, you just took eight points of damage. <sighs> What I miss? Who died? Nobody's dead. You took eight points of damage, <laughs> and Katie, you are taking eleven points as the Morning Star from the Bugbear finally hits you in your shoulder. Romulus, I could really use some help killing bugbears. I'm just s slowly making my way up the stairs, just limping, spitting out blood. <laughs> First, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I think that's the only melee weapon I have. I have a hand axe. Uh, sure. Let's Phase shift. Let's spice it up and use a short sword. That is a dagger. That does. And, and that is uh, also Tim, which is not your turn. <laughs> what I do? What I do? You click dagger and you crit, but you don't get to use that because it's not your turn. I did. I. I... Oh, okay, I sorry. Didn't do anything. A fourteen. What is that on? The bugbear. The bugbear. That will still miss. Yep. Let's try it again. A fifteen on the bugbear. We will also miss. Yup. As you are just swinging, trying to hit this thing, and it is just blocking with its This is stuff. the most agile bugbear that has <laughs> ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> this bugbear. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay. Alright, and then, uh, On Puru, I need you to make a, a lot. wisdom save. <clears throat> As you are hit by a puff of magic from the beholder. That puff, beholder, dry magic. Has the uh, feeling wisdom. of cotton. As you are uh, becoming a little drowsy. You yep. slowly... <sighs> oh, Stop. Yep. So he Just is not... to be not... clear, the beholder is about 10 feet up in the air. So I can't touch him? Nope. I mean, you could try. Seems bad. <laughs> I'm picturing, like, the Samurai Jack, a coup. It does like... have something. Jump good? Well, I wanted to vampiric touch, but... Um... So I'm not in, the, Stoth is not in the cone, right? No, he is not. Okay. Stoth is gonna try to, that's a touch spell. Stoth is gonna try to Guiding Bolt. All right, make the attack that hits. First attack to hit the Beholder. Holy crap, all right. What level are you doing it at? Um, it... Oh, um, let's do... Yeah, you're typically supposed to announce that beforehand, but I don't care. I don't know why it didn't. Um, usually it asks me before when uh, I, like, press it. When it's a damaging spell like this that needs an attack roll, it'll always do it afterward. Oh, okay. Um... Well... I'll, I'll do it as a one, because I didn't announce anything ahead of time, so I'll, I'll do it as a one. Alright. 
11 points of radiant damage. As the beholder begins to glow, and the next attack on it will have advantage. And that'll bring us back to the grasping wall layer action. But am As I in it? begins to come out of the wall. Um, that will be important for you, Oz, uh, on your turn. Thanks, Batman. And then I'm going to re-roll that because you cannot have the same effect going at the same time. So he's going to fire a fear ray at stop. Okay. He needs to make a wisdom save. Ooh, I'm on the wrong part. It succeeds once again. This red crackling energy keeps blasting towards him. I'll bring it to your turn, Tim. You are asleep. Um, unfortunately, that uh, that means that you are the bugbear is not. Uh, I missed that. What? what? You are asleep, so unfortunately, there's not anything that you can do. Uh, and that will bring us to the second legendary act, legendary action of the beholder. It's going to shoot a paralyzing ray at Stoth, since Stoth is the only one in his uh, reasonable vicinity that is not affected by anything. A paralyzing ray on Puru. <laughs> no, on Stoth. Puru is asleep. Ugh. Can't win them As all. this yellow crackling electrical beam hits him, he starts to just stiff up. So this Over is where I, I can't move very well, right? Half movement? Okay. Yo. No, paralyzed. He's paralyzed. Oh, okay. <sighs> Boo. Romulus. Or yo. Oh, man, I am not built for this at all. Okay. <laughs> um, can I try to, like... <sighs> I'm going to have to do the thing. Do the thing. Okay. I see what all is going on here. Let me just... Okay, I'm gonna try to sprint as far as I can. Right back. Just that way. Like, up the stairs and get, like, as far as I can. Alright. Yeah, so... Here would be... Right here... Would be ten feet. Okay. So if I choose to, like... Dab, ten... If you dashed, you'd be able to get to here, but you wouldn't have your action to do anything. Because you would have used your action to dash. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, are you going to try and not uh, invoke an attack of opportunity from the bugbear? Is that thing still up? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you, I'll You'd have to that. go around it. You could probably make it here. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. And as I as I pass curse, I'll be like, I swear I'm gonna help if I don't die here in a second. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have used your action to move there. Anything else? Nope, that's it. You sure? You have your bonus action. <sighs> okay. Do a God, I don't play spellcasters. <laughs> okay. Um it's 
Sorry, Batman's so noisy. Sorry, I'm I guess I'll just produce a flame, just because it's nice to have magic again, I guess. Produce flame is an action. Um, Alright, I'm going to take that by you don't know what you want to do, and uh, go to the beholder. Who's going to do an innervation ray? On... Hey, she has the most health. Boo. Make con save. Con save, okay. Alright, you take 36 points of necrotic damage. Look. Bring us to our goblin. Yeah, that'll bring us to the goblin. Uh, goblin's going to take a scimitar strike at you, Katie. Yep. And the bugbear will also take a, uh, a strike at you. Okay. Nope, nope. Scimitar hits. Oh, does it? That's 16. Oh, because of the tie? Yep. Okay. So that's four points of damage to you. And then uh, the bugbear is going to attack with advantage on you, uh, Puru. That's a 22 to hit. It's going to do uh. nine points of piercing. <coughs> that is going to be a surprise attack because you are asleep. Asleep. So that's an additional <laughs> six points. So 15 points in total. As you built up. From taking this damage. You are prone. Curse. That, Yo. That is that fifteen you say fifteen points of damage? Fifteen in total, yes. Okay, so someone's gotta die, so we're gonna try to hit the Gerblin instead. Um we're still gonna go with the short sword. Oh my god. Wheel of randomness. Oh, that's a 25. Yeah, the goblin disarms you and knocks your sword over the edge. Okay. Gonna try to hit the goblin Down with there. the hand axe. All right. That'll hit. Gonna hit the goblin with the hand axe. All right. And that'll be exactly enough to kill it. Thank goodness. Stupid goblin. That'll bring us to another legendary action from our beholder, Lord and Master. Uh, Puru. <sighs> I need you yeah, to make a deck save. Huh? Dex save. Hmm? you're gonna make a dex save. He just got up from his nap. Really? <laughs> oh. That's 51 points of damage. What? That was 51 points of damage. You fail your save as this ray of, of energy begins to destroy your body. Your armor is ripped to shreds. Most of your skin is missing. Also, you have no hair. <laughs> a hobbit with no hair? That's, that's, that's not nice. Is that about right? What's up? Is that about right? Stop. Yo. Um. Bug I'm bear. going to give you a piece of Bug advice. Bugbear. Bugbear. Bug I, I, no, I'm going to give you a piece of advice, okay? Yeah. Um, you guys have done no damage to this beholder. You have advantage on an attack. Um. All Stoth has to do is make a running jump at it. To be able to attack it. Okay. And he has a divinity still. Which 
deals a lot of damage. Then he can do his touch. So I need to running leap at Dudio and channel divinity. Oops. It's trying to read stuff. Sorry. Yeah, not that one. It's the one just under that. The uh the death one. But uh let me put it down. Touch of death. So touch of death. Okay. Touch of death. You can channel divinity to destroy another creature's life force by touch. When you hit a creature with a melee attack, you can use channel divinity to deal an extra necrotic damage equal to five plus twice your cleric level. Okay. So he has at this level uh two channel divinities. Okay. So I have to do So that counts as the spell I'm using, so I have to use the dwarven thrower? No, so that's just that's just an additional thing that can be added on top of your melee attack. Okay, so I can try to do like vampiric touch or something like that. Um, one sec. Yeah, if you want to try and jump, um, I'll make the only thing that you'll have to remember is that you'll make a deck save to see if you fall down the pit. Okay, I kind of want something that like guarantee hits because I want to do, you know, like max damage. So I feel like maybe that's not it. Well. Vampiric Touch is actually a really good choice right now. Yeah? Because um, even though you won't get... That'll probably give you your most amount of damage. Okay. And you have advantage on the attack right now. Okay, so... Uh, the only thing you won't get from it is your Divine Strike. Okay. And what is Vampiric Touch? That's 3d6. Uh, yeah. The product. So... Yeah, I mean... The only, the only one that might be better is uh, Inflict Wounds. Yeah, Inflict Wounds is better. Because that would be at uh, third level. That's that's 5d6. That's 7d6 at, fi at fifth level. Well, the only th reason I like Vampiric Touch is because I heal as well. Yeah, but if you're dealing, if you're going for max damage, oh, you'd gotcha. be wanting to go for Inflict Wounds. But yeah, if you want to heal, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I do want to heal up a little bit. All right, what what level are you casting it at? That was at three. Sorry. All right, so you're going to be doing the jump and using yes. vampiric. Stuff. Yep. That hits. Okay, so then. Oh, and how do I do the thingy with the thing? <laughs> That's almost divine. That's almost max. You don't get the extra five. You heal for the seventeen. And then you just deal an additional 25. Okay. If you so use I don't one have... or two channels. Yeah, I do want to use channel divinity, so I don't have to roll for anything. I just do it. Okay. No, yeah. And you then just you... do it. And you said I heal for 17? Yes. Okay. Not the plus five, because that doesn't affect your other stuff. So yeah, that is 30. That is 42 points of damage. That's not bad. No, that's actually... That's one less than max. That's not bad. Okay. Yeah. That's also why I was recommending Inflict Wounds, though. Because Inflict Wounds at level 1 does more damage. Oh, yikes. Okay. Yeah, the only reason that Vampiric Touch is a higher level spell is because it heals. Yeah, he was at like 50-something. I was just feeling kind of squishy because I feel like he's going to start picking on me since I'm the only one who's doing damage. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> All right, and then that will bring us to lair action. I think I hate that word. <laughs> All of that is slimy. So much slime. And then that will bring us to legendary action. I think you hate that word more. Enervation Ray on stop. No. Which one is that one? That's the necrotic one. 
It's gonna take away all my heal and I'm gonna be so pissed. Okay. <laughs> Constitution? Yes. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so I only take half? Yeah, you only take <laughs> half. You'll take 20 points of damage, which is all the heals you yeah, have. Yeah, which is all the heals I just did. Oh, that reminds me. Make a deck save to see if you fall. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thanks, Bats. All right, yeah, probably... no, he manages to, to fall right there. As he does the jump. He... In, the, in, the slip, in the slip slide. He uh, grabs onto one of the uh, eye stalks on the beholder and does Vampiric Touch to regain health and then jumps off. That'll bring us back to Tim. <laughs> so I, w when I woke up and got. Fr did I get froze? I woke up and you got um, disintegrated. Half of your body was. Oh, that's right. Okay, do I have any, any weapons or anything? I mean. Yeah, everything's still there. Your body was being disintegrated. <laughs> oh, great. Um. Then I guess I, I guess I'll do the the dagger on the on the bugbear. I suppose I because I would I have to take a um, motion to unlimber my bow again. So I think dagger's a good yeah. choice. Okay. Yeah. Again, I get since I'm right there. Do I get a, Do I still get about two hits even though I just woke up or got yeah, zapped? So uh, disintegrate. You just have to use half your movement to get up. Okay, but I still get two hits. Okay. Oh. Uh. Dude. Alright, so the first one's gonna miss. The bonus action one will hit. And it won't deal your full amount of damage. It won't deal the four from your decks, but it will deal the uh, d4 of damage. D4 of yeah, it huh? will deal two damage. <sighs> well, I got its attention, huh? I don't think I need his attention, but... And you know what? You you got the beholder's attention. <laughs> he's, gonna try, he's gonna try and wink at you. Oh. As it's, uh... It's, uh... I, I'm trying to think of what the right... Uh, the right weeb uh, terminology is. I think it's like Doki Doki Ray goes at you. I don't know. Someone, someone's Dookie, probably Dookie, really upset at me Dookie, for saying Dookie. that. <laughs> a charm ray? Yes. Make a wisdom oh. save. As this heart-shaped ray comes at you. And you just look at the, the beholder and you're just like, You know what? He's a pretty cool dude. I hit that. I kind of like that guy. He's kind of alright, you know? Who's picking on? Who's picking on my friend? Hey, you ugly little dwarf! Don't pick on my friend. Yeah, it's pretty alright, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, I know we're allies, but you know you, you can't mess with that guy. He's pretty alright. Romulus. Hey, yo. All right. I go back um... to sleep, man. I do what. <laughs> Let me. I can only move thirty feet. Uh, what can I see? how beat up are these two looking? Um, very he's beat up. He's dead. Uh, he's at about half health. He's at about half mass. And uh, curse is uh close. She's about what a third yeah, of your health. Yeah, a third. And I'm almost. I'm a little above a tenth of my health. And you guys haven't done anything to the beholder, really. So I'm gonna do this. All right. You're clicking the description only, by the way. If you click the actual spell, like where it says "mask your wounds," you'll actually cast the spell. Oh, hey. Sure. Yeah. Everyone gains twenty-two hit points. Even me? Yeah. Thank you. Within Thank you. 60 feet, which is everyone, I believe. Yeah. Oh, I do make it. Okay, I thought I was out. Sweet. There we go. 
Well, Holder doesn't like and that. And then I'm going Not to one try bit. to just make my way as far up the stairs as I can. How are you making your way there? Walking? <laughs> yeah, what what squares specifically? Uh, right about here? No, like, your path. Are you going straight oh. to the right and then up, or? Are you just going diagonally to the stairs, or? Yeah, diagonally. Okay, so. What? Dude, like, the stairs immediately start to go up, and this yeah. goes up 20 feet oh, in, its, I see. in its whole thing. Gotcha. Okay. So, like, you have to, like, get there. I'm going to grant you that it only takes 10 feet to get there. But, like, the stairs start here. So you have to, like, if you're going to go, like, directly this way, you're climbing up them. Gotcha. So, like, this I'll is take raised. 20 feet to get there. You can make it there. That's fair. You know? And that is me. All right. And then that Thank you, Oz. the beholder. Thank you, Oz. Boulder's not very the scared is, at all. The sl Vac, <laughs> so not scared. He's not even going to use his big guns yet. He's going to use disintegration ray, though, on the guy who's running away, Oz. Okay. DC 16 dex save. Let's see what I got. Nope. And that'll be 57 points of your uh, 62 health. Gross. All right, let's do this. One of his eyes looks back, sees you running away, and just blasts you with a green blast of energy. There are no more goblins. Yay! <laughs> there are two bugbears, however. Um, one's going to hit you with advantage. Puru. Uh, which will knock you out of your charm, though, as you take 14 points of, of uh, piercing. And then curse, you're going to be attacked. That is going to miss you, though. Oof. And it'll bring us to your turn, curse. Okay. I gotta kill me a bugbear, so let's... My sword is gonzo, so let's go ahead and I think the hand axe and the dwarven thrower is the same. Um, so yeah, hand axe. Good job. Alright, a 14 will miss. Ugh. I really th think <laughs> and a 12 will miss. I really think you should be using those. You've been you've been you trying to be melee this entire time. Yeah, I should just disengage um, and move. You really should just just forget about the bugbear. Yeah. And and you you should have just moved a while back, like taken the taken the hit to move here to give Puru sneak attack. Yeah, I think because as long as Puru has an ally next to this enemy, he gets sneak attack. Yeah, and then I... you should have just been firing at the um, the beholder this whole time. Yeah, I need to um, just not worry I'm about just disengage give you the damage now. Yeah, I just need to not worry about disengage damage as much as I do, I think. Yeah, I think that early levels, like, with level 5, it's a lot more reasonable to worry about it. But, like, if you're fighting a goblin or a bugbear at level 10, like, the damage is pretty minimal. Yeah, just And walk you away. have so many ways to mitigate it. Um, but yeah. Okay. All you on what you want to do, though. Well, I already did the Anything turn, else? right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I can move. There's not a whole a lot of point, but I can do it. Yeah. You can if you want to take the damage. Right now, I think I wouldn't do it now unless you really want to give Puru his sneak attack on that guy. Um, which might be worth it. Yeah, can I even get that far? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, I can get that oh, far. Oh, easily. Yeah. Okay. The bugbear will make his attack. Yep. And he'll miss. He does miss. That's the other thing. He's only got a plus four to hit. Yeah, so he might just miss. That's true. It's okay. You know what, guys? For anybody who is playing today and anybody who is just watching, 
this is a learning experience. It's true. You know, um, you do not need to be experienced to play D and D or to play at higher levels. It helps, and that's why I'm just giving the advice now. Also, because I wanted to kill you, so I decided I'm just gonna hold out on it. <laughs> Isn't he such a nice guy? Just that sweet vampiric touch hit that Stoth had, Gustav. That's really the only... The only damage. The Beholder is not even feeling it. <laughs> Alright, legendary action. Tim's favorite. Let's see, Ray number <sighs> three... Again. I be, at this point, you guys are probably memorizing these. <laughs> uh, this is about the third time he's hit that one. Stop. He really wants to make you afraid of him. He's got like a complex at this point. <laughs> really? Like, Stop is the only one that's hurt me. him. Make Stop. Stop. Hey, finally. Stop is scared. Stop sees this thing and finally transforms into his worst fear. Rubber ducks. Yeah. <laughs> Thousand percent. Now, it is a giant floating rubber duck with tiny rubber ducks that are being held by strings around it. <laughs> so am I just... And now it's soft turn. I'm just scared? Okay. Can I yeah, do anything it, about being can... scared? So, he cannot move willingly towards the Beholder. Okay. Um, and if he attacks anything while he can see the Beholder, so anywhere on this floor, um, it is at disadvantage. Um, can I... I am outside of the cone, yes? Can you what? Am I outside of the cone of bad? He is. Okay. Looks like it, yeah. Can I cast... I'm going to cast Healing Word on Oz... Um, I'm going to look at his, his, uh, spells really quick. Okay. Oh man, he really doesn't have too many. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> I would just do a high level healing word in that case. Yeah. So I'm going to level for it. Um, okay. So level four Katie. healing word. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm a, I want to do something really stupid that might negate that, so I would put that to somebody who can actually, like, do something. <laughs> but then I'm just going to have to res you, so I may as well try to heal you as much through the stupid as I can. <laughs> okay. <He's gonna> try. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, but I'm just letting you know, you can't heal stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. If he rolls an enervation ray, I'm firing it at you, Oz. Um, how do I tell it what level? Did I not press the right thing? Um. Let's see. Maybe I didn't press the right thing. Nope. He has it in there as a spell card, not as an actual thing. Okay. So that is on however it decided to go in. Um, I think he just copy pasted it actually. Okay. So just roll, roll. Um, you said it's fourth level. Yes. Take out a fourth level spell slot and roll four d four, plus five. Oh. So fourteen plus five. That's nineteen points of health going to who again? Um, Oz. He's weird, too, because he has Ayo. these. Okay, so technically I have three of these left. Okay, and then I have to no, take Batman like out. I gotta take Batman out really quick. I'll be right back. So, right. Um, so what do we want is to do not with moving. Soft's, uh, what do we want to do with Soft's action, though? Well, he can't move, right? Because he's feared? Well, he can still move, and he can still attack. You can't willingly move towards the beholder. Oh, okay. Um, and he and he'll attack if he moves to the big bear. He's at a disadvantage. So you can still do sacred flame or chill touch. Yo, on 
Let's do the beholder. It'll just be a disadvantage. Let's try sacred flame. Let's do it. Yeah. Beholder's gonna make his deck save, and he'll fail. He'll take ten points of damage. Sweet. Yay, stuff. <laughs> All right, so I will be I will be right back. Cover for me while I take Batman outside. Okay. <laughs> All right, random eye beam <coughs> for the lair action. Enervation ray <laughs> going at you, <laughs> you Oz. <laughs> if uh, that's it's a con save. It's a con save. Oh. If you survive, you'll actually be at one health. No, that downs you. You are at zero health. The enervation ray puts you on the ground. And then with its legendary action, its telekinetic ray, it is going to try and throw stuff down a floor. So, uh... I'll roll Stoth's uh, strength save. Yes! And Stoth staves, uh, keeping off the telekinetic energy, trying to throw him off. Tim, it's your turn. Yeah, now I got, I got my sneak attack. And that's, that's three, right? I got the sneak attack plus the two. So if, you hit, if you hit, you get sneak attack because curse is right there. It gets off. It goes off once per round, as long as you hit. Oh, so I guess I hit. I I hit twice to begin with, right? Well, first roll your first attack. That hits. Okay. And then roll damage on that. And that is enough to kill him. As you, with your ally there, you feel new confidence. And you're able to... Plus, plus, I got um, healed. I got healed, so... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> feeling much better. <laughs> so you this new confidence. You jump on top of its shoulders and start <laughs> stabbing <laughs> to the back of the head. And the bugbear drops. You do have your second knife to do as an offhand attack. Um, but... That uh, you can try to chuck it at the beholder, or you could try to chuck it at the bugbear if you move five well, feet. Well, the thing of it is, if I, if I chuck it at the beholder, even if I hit him, it's stuck in him, so I can't get it back. Um, yeah. I, think, I, think I, will, I think I think will, I will use that extra bonus to unlimber my short bow. Sure, yeah. And that's my, that's, that would be it, right? I mean, I could just... That's my move to unlimber it. I can't shoot it, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll just we'll say that. Right now, you can have your short bow out with one dagger out, so you can have your dagger easily easy access to your dagger, though. Like daggers. And okay. Your short bow, that's that's way, that's different than having like a long sword. And well, a, yeah. And a bow, you know. And holding it in my off hand, so I can. Yeah, you're also a lot more dexterous, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, it not bother me. Okay. Right. D10 for legendary action. This is a six. Another telekinetic ray. You know what? He's going to do the same thing. He's going to try and throw Stoth off the edge. Why? I don't know. I just Maybe he just doesn't like Stoth. Stoth maybe deserves he just it. Like this player. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Oh, he failed. Wait, is Katie back? I'm back now. Yes. Oh, I don't ignore that. Kate, you roll a strength save. Oh, go ahead and fail myself. Katie, Katie, okay. Katie. <laughs> yeah, you failed too. <laughs> yep. Ah, he's thrown off the edge. Uh, 30 feet. He needs to make a deck save. Deck save? Okay. As he's tossed with telekinetic energy to the floor below. All right, and he's only going to take half of this damage. 
So he's gonna take two points of falling damage. Tumble against the far wall. Tumble against the far wall. Romulus, Romulus is take you. It's needs, a, needs a death save. Oh, I missed the dumb thing. What's the dumb thing? He died. He just get hit. He, he, did, he didn't have a chance. He just. He didn't get a chance to do any any dumb thing. He got roasted. Yeah. The thing is, if if he had saved, the heal would have been the only reason he'd be alive. Oh jeez. All right, that is one fail. All right, Boulder. He's still feeling pretty confident, pretty cocky, actually. You know what? He's gonna fire slowing ray. He's gonna fire slowing ray at you, Curse. Okay. And he's going to aim his uh his thing straight down at the. The entire floor beneath him. Well, at least I saved. So. That's going to represent what, what he sees. Okay. He's looking down at, at stuff. So he's uh, he's doing him. Nullify magic stuff is magic. Yeah. That's what he's doing. And that'll bring us to the bugbear. It's up bug to you and me, Katie. <laughs> Let's get him, Curse. He's gonna run up. I'm gonna just move this guy out of the way. Move the dead guy? <laughs> Both dead guys. Oh, there's another guy. Another dead guy. <laughs> <laughs> they multiplied. So many dead guys. And, you know, he's just like, um, there's two people to attack. I'm going to hit the one that looks weak. He's going to attack you, uh, uh, Puru. Okay. This is 22 hit. Of course it does. Uh, yeah. <laughs> take 11 points of damage as he hits you with his morning star. With 11? Yeah, he's just... <laughs> as he hits you in the face <laughs> with, his, uh, with his morning star. Curse. Okay. Again, I'm going to just recommend you're not slowed. You have two attacks. You also are not being viewed by the uh, by by the beholder. So it's time to oath bow the shit out of that beholder. I I wouldn't only oath bow. You also have to <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to hunter's mark. Um Yeah, I'm also going to Hunter's Mark, for sure. Alright, yeah. Otho, Hunter's Mark. Uh, I gotta see if I even hit first. Crimini, get together, Katie. You're just so excited to Othbo. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to hit. Okay. Yay! And you're out of magic, so you'll get your pluses. What is... What does Oathbow do, specifically? Um, it does more... I can only pick one dude, and then it does more damage against that one dude. It, it's not adding the more damage right now. Yeah, why is it not? <sighs> oh, I don't have the PHB either, so... Um, I have. Oh, thank you. If I remember right, I can only use it against one... I can only use it against one creature, or like one dude, and then it does... Per turn. Alright, you have made him your sworn enemy. When you make a ranged attack roll with this weapon against your, short, your sworn enemy, you have advantage on the attack. In addition, your target gains no benefit from cover. Um, if the attack hits your sworn enemy, it takes an extra 3d6. Oh, shoot, yeah, we would like to do that. Okay. Yes, yes. So, yes please. Yeah. So that's Should the extra be. 3d6, and then it gets the 3 from the Hunter's Mark, right? Yes, so that is 14 plus 8. That is a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Minus 22. 
Minus eight. There's a lot. Yeah, I'm not doing that math. <laughs> All right, curse. And then I get to try to hit him again. Here's hoping. Yay. All right, that Okay, so I get to do this damage, plus this damage, plus 16, plus it's still three. It's to do the hunter's mark, right? Yep. Are they yep. still active, right? Okay. Hit. Yeah. 16, okay. 19. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's the hope. <laughs> that's why I was so sad when you said I can't do the oath bow thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is just beholders, man. <laughs> <laughs> beholders doing beholder things. You, there's no reason he would know that you have an oath, though, also. Oh, true. Yeah, you wouldn't know to, like, just so. keep it trained on me. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Katie, you just did a lot of damage to him. Yeah, that's... He's going to shoot you with an enervation ray. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's a lot Come of on, damage. <laughs> Please Katie. don't hit me. 17, Max, 18, roll. 19, Max, roll. 17. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it's a con oh. roll, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's a con roll. Yeah. Oh. That's 45 <laughs> damage out of your 60 health. It sure is. <sighs> Stop. You're kind of stuck there. Because you can't move forward. You can't cast spells. You need to make your wisdom save, essentially. Okay. You can try to throw your dwarven thrower. Um, but then I can't get it back? Up. Up. Well, it could land on the floor above you, but... In a way, I think that that's within um, the range. <laughs> no, he would have disadvantage on the dwarven thrower, it looks like. Okay. But he does become unfeared at the end of his turn. Oh, I have to do the end of the turn. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, let's try to toss. I'll try to toss the thrower. Yeah, you'll have disadvantage. So uh, you would have had it anyway, though. So, And a 20 is going to hit. But, wait, that lowers it to 17 because it's magic. So that will actually miss. You throw it. It lands on, on the floor above, uh, but it does not hit. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm not really sorry. No, you're not sorry at all. <laughs> I know. Not really. No, not really. All right. The lair action is going to be grasping walls, which will affect um, Stoth at the beginning of his turn. Okay. He's see that close to the wall? Oh, how kind of you, game. The question is, who do I want to kill? Yep. Stoth. And the answer is always stop. <laughs> okay. So, Constitution? 17, 18, 19. Yes! Ooh. <laughs> take half of that. So that's going to be 18 points of damage to stop. Number one. Uh oh, Tim. What do you do, Mister Team? He is he's gone. Oh, I wonder if he can't hear us. Oh, probably. Yeah, stupid Discord. I really don't know why it does that. Yeah. I had to restart it too. Oh, there we go. You're up. Oh, oh, okay. Um, where? How big is this dwarven thrower thing? I mean, uh, you are not proficient with it, if that's what you're wondering. Yeah, and my strength is not only a thirteen. So no, wait a minute. That's not right. There. There is a foe right in front of you that you can sneak attack, and you're wondering about hammers right now. <laughs> well, see, Katie is there too. She can take a, she can take care of this guy if I could do some damage to the. 
But you're right. Yeah, but, yeah, but you can. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Take away the. Take I could get. I could get. Three, I could get three attacks on this guy. So, well, I like my fine. daggers. Daggers are daggers are good to me. Oh, that not that good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least you only just missed. Oh, oh wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. Reroll that. You're a you're a halfling. You yes. rerolled that once. Okay. So fourteen will still miss, but it's just a miss. Yeah, at least bad things didn't happen. So what's your yeah. attack? My what? My what? Yes, yeah, so you can do your offhand attack then. Your okay. Attack. That one will hit, and that'll still have sneak attack. Um, it just won't have the additional damage from your uh, your dexterity. That's twenty damage. That nearly kills it. Actually, if that had been with your dex, it would have killed it. Well, I had to leave something for Katie to do. I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the way I've been hitting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Well, you know what the answer is, Tim. Yep. The answer yep. is always Tim. Yeah, yep. but Tim the Great. I did. The, I did. The... Ugh. Yeah, well, that's no help. Wait. Tim roped him or stopped him? Wait. Real Tim. Rogue Tim. Okay. Rogue Tim. <laughs> the real Tim. The real Tim. <laughs> only Tim that exists in this session. <laughs> okay. 31 points. Okay, I'll immediately, immediately back down. Alright, Romulus, make your second death save. Yo yo. Alright, that's one success. Katie, come on, Katie. <laughs> you can do it. Well, this is gonna you did it before. Stuff. You did it before, and you can do it again. Yes, you can do it again. <laughs> yeah, you did it before, you can do it again. A death ray? Jeez. A death ray. I think he dies no matter what. No, if he succeeds, he has two health left. Okay. Um, deck save. <laughs> no. A single dark moat flies out of one of the eyes. It hits. Pierces. Stoth. Pierces. Stoth. To the core. The entire body turns a pitch black. And he falls. And begins to disintegrate. He is dead. Everybody, Anybody see the... Uh... And then he moves his eye. Is the beholder even bloody at this point? Um, no. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're dead, guys. <laughs> the bugbear will attack you, Katie. Yep. Team points of piercing. Um, okay, dead. I always forget how ties work. I'm really bad at that. Someday I'll remember. All right, I need you to make a save. I'm making a save? Yep, oh, that's it's, save. we're already on my turn, that's why. Gotcha. Yep. <laughs> okay. That was a success. Tim, make a death save. Oh, is Stoth just dead dead? Um, Stoth is just dead dead. Death okay. rate kill. Oh, okay, gotcha. Uh, I, oh, I need to... 
Where it says death save. Oh, it's in the middle. Yeah. All right, that's a success. And Romulus make it death. Is this in case one of us crits? Yes. Gotcha. All right. I'm going to roll a d4. On a one, it is Katie. On a two, it is uh, Puru. It, on a three, it is Oz. And on a four, it is a reroll. Oh, Katie. Yep. You automatically fail your petrification ray save. And you are petrified. Okay. There is no more saving. You are just stone. Okay. So I am Bedzo. Isn't she in the anti-magic field? He's going to move his, his side away. In this case, this is more for flavor. <laughs> he likes to watch us suffer. So you can make a uh, death save. Yeah, it's not looking good, Gustav. It's not looking good. Romulus, you can make yours. That is a fail. Alright, odds. It is, uh, it is Puru. Evens, it is, um, Romulus. That's even. Romulus, he reduces your body to ash. <laughs> But, 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 guys, guys! Good luck, Peru. <laughs> guys! That was a fail. And with you, he also petrifies your body. Womp womp. Bum, bum, bum. TPK. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> All right. So sorry, guys. I'll be less of a a wuss next time, and I'll like just disengage more. <laughs> I'm going to paste you all here. So, soft body and Romulus's body are displayed in one of these cases here in this room in the tower. <laughs> yeah. uh, with uh, with all of these display cases just being filled with the ashes of the people that the beholder has disintegrated. <laughs> Rip. Out here. Katie's body and Puru's body are displayed along with the rest of the petrified bodies that the Beholder has <laughs> in his little art gallery here. So much salt, Gustav. Yeah, and after that, after that, after that one ray, the disintegration ray, the Puru is almost indecently exposed. <laughs> Got a naked halfling. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. The party has failed in the quest. Womp womp. What? <laughs> hey, Christian, purely out of curiosity, are we fighting against, like, Xanathar or any special variation of Beholder? No. That was a base Beholder. How did I manage to do that? I think you accidentally pressed the, uh, uh, the, the, whatever. Camera? The camera thing, yeah. Well, y'all, we tried. And, I and for those of you watching, <laughs> for those of you watching, that's the way it goes. The roll of the dice. It's true. Fortunately, that is sometimes how it goes. That's why I'm playing the sad music. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him, Grumbly Batman. <laughs> yeah, grumble at him, Batman. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's super okay. Well, thanks for joining us, everybody. 
sorry. <laughs> I'm also kind of not sorry, because I still got to use, like, the uh, Beholder's art fetish that he has. <laughs> With all of the people he <laughs> petrified and turned to ash. It was funny, I had, like, if you guys went, somehow got into the third tower, I had, like, little little blurbs about, like, each of the people that he just turned to ash. <laughs> it was gonna be, like, uh, Guild of Dungeoneering with, like, the little bard songs. Aww. <laughs> it's a great game if anybody hasn't played it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I know it was kind of like a... It was a longer one, but it was super cool and super fun. Um, does anybody have anything... Everyone needs to fight a beholder at some point. Absolutely. Does anybody have anything they wanted to plug while they're here? I take that as a no. I do, actually. Oh, what do you want to plug? So... I don't know if the music is actually going through on um, Roll20 and to the uh, chat. It should be. Um, yeah. If you guys can hear it, though. Um, I yep, get... it's there. Okay, yeah. So the music that I get is from a... Um, uh, it's mostly from a, a person who makes it all. Uh, let me see if I can find their channel again. Because uh, I'm going to plug them for basically having this free music. Oh, for sure. That would be fabulous. Um, here it is. So, it's uh, emily Roll for fantasy that I use. So um, it's a channel with like 5,000 subscribers. Just has a bunch of just basic like stock um, music. That works really well if you're just looking for something like this. Fantastic. Definitely check them out. Love to support people. Emily. Emily um, dot Emily. Emily dash what? roll for fantasy. I'll post it. Emily dash roll for fantasy. Yeah, I'll put it uh, here in the chat. Yeah, that's awesome. Really appreciate people who help provide cool content, especially yeah. for free. That's always really nice of people. Yeah, it was copyright free music, so I was, you know, I searched for it specifically so that I could actually have it for the stream, so that we didn't have to worry about using something that might, be, you know, writable. Yeah, might nail so. somebody. Yeah, I super appreciate that. Um. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Um, I had my schedule all screwed up, so Rock Beyond the Day is part one comes out Friday. And I will make sure that part two comes out shortly thereafter. Um, I'm going to start trying to be better about making sure that um, last week's episode, or like the previous episode, I should say, is posted before the new episode comes out, just so people can kind of keep up. Sometimes we have an inside joke or two. Um, and I want people to be able to be a part of that. Um, so I think we're getting back on our regular schedule then, so we won't have D and D next week. Am I am I thinking of that correctly? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to do it next week. Uh, I'll do it the week after. Um, I will probably make it level fives because I unfortunately don't really like to roll level three in adventures. That's super fine. You do you. You're doing us a favor. So we'll do level fives in two weeks. Um, I'm not sure what we'll have next week. It'll be a surprise to all of us. Um, I already said like, share, and subscribe. Uh, visit Brass City Games for all your gaming needs. Kaldheim comes out, I believe, shortly. So check out that for some Nordic flair. Everybody have a fabulous evening. Good night, guys. Good night, Katie. Good night, guys. Good night. Thanks, Christian. Yeah. So long, Oz. <laughs>